Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects CC. And create a new composition. Let's call it Pencil Logo Animation. I am using the 9020 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Now import this paper texture image into your project. Place it on the timeline. Let's change the size. Press S to open scale. Change the scale value to 60%. Let's import our logo. Place the logo above the background layer. Press S to change the scale value. Now right click on it and select pre-compose. I am calling it logo. Also make sure to select more all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and presets tab and search for Vegas. Apply it to the logo layer. Change the blend mode to transparent and then change the color to grey color. Now you won't be able to see your logo. Open image condos. In the channel tab change intensity to alpha. Now change segments to 1 and change the length to 0. Then change the midpoint opacity to 1 and midpoint position to 0 0.9 and end opacity to 1. Make sure you are in the first frame and then add a keyframe onto the length. Go to 4 seconds forward and change the length value to 1. Now select the logo layer and press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes. Right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and select ECEs. Now open graph editor. If your graph doesn't look like this, right click on it and select edit speed graph. Now select the end keyframe and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline and here we have the nice looking animation. If you play this, you can see the logo is animating, but it doesn't look like pencil stroke. So let's go to the effects and presets tab and search for the turbulent displays. Apply it onto the same logo layer. Change displacement to bulge and then change the amount to 30. Also change the size to 2. And now we have this nice looking pencil stroke. Now import this pencil stroke image. Place it on the top of all layers. Now select the logo layer and make a duplicate of it. Place it above the pencil stroke layer. Go to the effects control tab and remove all the effects from this layer. Now I am going to track mat this pencil layer. If you don't see your track mat tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is damaged, right click here, go to the columns and select modes. Now in the pencil stroke layer, change track mat to alpha mat. And your logo will look like this. Let's change the opacity of this layer to 60%. Now open scale and change the scale value also. Now import this paint splatter video to your project. And then place it onto the top of all layers. Now select this logo layer and make a duplicate of it. 
Let's call it logo reveal. Now select this paint layer and drag it to 4 seconds. Now change the logo reveal layer track mat to luma mat and make sure to turn on the visibility of this layer. If you play this, you can see your logo is revealing. But it is not covering up the entire logo. Select the top layer and drag it to cover up the entire logo. Now let's animate this pencil stroke layer as well. Select the pencil layer. Now go to the effects and presets tab and search for CC burn filling. Apply it onto the pencil layer. Go to around 2 seconds. Change the burn amount to 75. And then change the random seat to 20. Now add a keyframe onto the burn. Then go to 2 seconds forward and change the band value to 0. Here we have this nice looking fade effect. Now select this layer and press U to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and select ECEs. This is how our animation looks like till now. Let's adjust the timing according to your need. This looks good to me, but we need to add some motions to it. Press F4 to get the switches tab here. Now select all layers and click on this cube icon to make them 3D. Now press U to minimize all layers and then select this paper tester layer and make a duplicate of it. Now select this bottom layer and click on this cube icon to remove the 3D properties from it. Now create a new camera. I am going with the 35mm preset. Click OK and make sure this camera is placed on top of all layers. Now go to 6 seconds and press P to open position. Click here to add a keyframe on it. Now press R to open rotation and then add a keyframe on the orientation. Now go to first frame and press C to take the camera tilt. Now drag your mouse to get some different camera angles. Now press U and change the orientation last value to 60 degree. Now let's go to the end keyframes of the camera animation and then press C several times to grab the camera pan tool. Let's make the camera position in this way. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant and select ECEs. Open graph editor, select the end keyframe and change the curve to something like this. Now switch back to the timeline and now our animation looked like this. As you can see, we have this hard edge in this paper background. So select this paper tester layer and make sure you are selecting the 3D layer. Now go to the mask tool and select ellipse tool. Double click on it to apply mask to it. Now press F to open feather and change the feather value to 100 pixels. We can also add background music to the animation. Adjust the position. Now this is how our animation looks like. Now let's render our animation. Select composition and I am choosing the add to adobe media encoder cube. It will be here in few seconds. You can change the format. I am choosing h.264. You can also change the file path. Now click on this green color icon and it will start rendering. You can see the video informations here.
Okay, it is rendered. This is how our logo animation looks like. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe and make sure that you have enabled the bell icon. Also like or dislike, comment and share with your friends.